Hey everyone, welcome back to A Very Crafty Holiday. Barbara here, and in today's video we're going to be creating a party favorite or hostess gift. MFT's Lip Balm Window and Frame Dynamics and Lip Balm Pouches make it super easy to mass produce them, making them a great idea for either. And you can also keep some on hand for that unexpected invitation or when you just need a little gift fast. First up, let's run through the supplies I'm using for this project. Red Hot Dye Ink, Sending Smooches Stamp Set, Interactive Labels Stamp Set, Lip Balm Window and Frame Dynamics, Lip Balm Pouches, The Essential Rip Strips Dynamics, and Tall Tags Dynamics, Lip Balm. I make my own, but you can use any purchase balm as long as, uh, since we're going to cover it with pattern paper, and Candy Land Pattern Paper. Then I'm using a stitched fishtail sentiment strips that I shortened and the snowflake from Filled with Joy Dynamics cut from Silver Glitz Glitter cardstock. Since I'm using my homemade lip balm, I always add an ingredient list in case of allergies. And then we're finishing up with some ribbon and twine for the top. So let's get started. I'm cutting the lip balm window dynamics from pattern paper and for the back essential rip strips dynamics from sweet tooth cardstock. So I've cut that and off camera and brought it back. Here you will see the window for the lip balm pouch and the rip strip ready to give your recipient easy access to her lip balm. When they're adhered together the lip balm container and frame will hide the back side of the rip strip so don't worry about seeing it through the pouch. Next I'm going to stamp the word RIP from Interactive Label Stamp Set on the RIP strip with Red Hot Dye Ink. For small sentiments like this I usually don't use a stamp position or just a small uh, stamp block. Now I'm going to adhere the pouch inside the opening with strong double sided tape. I like score tape for this. And I'm using 1 8 inch because it um, fits the, the little flanges on the um, pouches just fine. So now the um, adhesive has been applied, the covering removed, and the pouch is in place. I like to burnish it with a bone folder to make sure the adhesive has good contact on both sides. Next I'm going to adhere the frame cut from Holly Jolly Glitter cardstock, also using score tape and also burnishing with a bone folder when it's in place. Again, just to make sure that the adhesive is um, seated properly. Now it's almost time to adhere the back to the front, but first we have to add the pattern paper to the lip balm. To make sure it adheres well, I like to curl the paper first to weaken the fibers a bit so it will stay in place, usually with something smaller than the object to be covered. So this time I'm using the Copic Speaker, Copic speaker Pen. Then I simply use Tape Runner to adhere it. After I add my ingredient label to the back, I will insert it into the pouch, which has little indentations on either side to keep the lip balm securely in place so it doesn't roll around within the pouch. And I will adhere my ingredient list and try to keep it on the back when I put it in the pouch. Now, anyone that has a nut allergy will see um, immediately that there's almond oil in this lip balm and um, can choose not to use it. I think you can see that you can, if you get a bunch of these prepped and then assemble everything, you can knock out a nice supply in a couple of hours. Next, I stamp, next I'm adhering the front to the back and it's all closed up. And as you see on the back, all you have to do is rip that little strip off and you 
got your um, lip balm. Next I stamped the cinnamon also with red hot dye ink and adhered it to the tag with foam tape to add a little dimension. Again with very small sentiments I often don't use a stamp positioner. I um, do use my handy dandy um, grid paper though. I'm just using some little strips of foam tape basically the size of the uh, tall tag and then the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, apply the um, little snowflake um, with directly with some liquid glue just to add some more glitter and glitz it's really uh, quick and easy to cut this thing out and apply it so um, it's just another added little touch the only thing left to do now is to add some ribbon through the slot and tie it on with some silver cord your recipient will love this fun and useful gift with the added interactive rip strip on the back. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you've gotten some ideas for creating a party favor and or hostess gift of your own. Please leave a comment on the video for your chance to win a $50 gift card to the MFT online store and be sure to check back tomorrow for more crafty holiday ideas. Thanks for watching.